There we are, 54 pounds of Raspberry North Lake Mike's Pet. The one I really, really wanted. On a January morning, how's that? Right, and there is the other side of 54 pounds of Mike's pet. And now it's very heavy. And there's a lovely dog behind us. <laughs> yeah, a blonde dog. Um, slip her back now because that is breaking my arms. How these fellas hold these 80 pounders up? But thank you, Mike's pet. And how's that for a hippopotamus, eh? Matty, a few weeks ago, asked me what my, if I don't, I rarely set targets, but what, what I was hoping for in 2022, and I said an English 50 pound carp. Now, I'm, I'm doing the winter on Raysby North Lake anyway, and there are two. And as you've just seen, one has come my way. But got here Sunday, I had the grandchildren on the weekend, so I was a bit frazzled on Sunday, and um, said to Debbie, do you mind? I need, I'm gonna go and spend the night at the lake. So I got here about four o'clock Sunday. Now I dropped into the runway, Paul, the guy that had packed up in the morning, had had four fish, but he'd had them so far out in that lake, I couldn't reach where he was anyway, and I certainly couldn't bait it. So I, I didn't follow on his area. I've done my own bit of fishing to the left here where I've had fish before. Put out, I don't know, a dozen or so bombs, two rods on it with monster tiger that pop up and a white hit and run on the baited area and a random single one off of it. That night, I got up about one in the morning because I heard them crashing out in front of me, but shorter. So I reeled them all in. This is a bit, it's just me, I, I'm random, I, I'm hyperactive. And having grown up in the, in the match fishing world as well, you have to act on everything you see immediately. Reeled all three in. I put another half a dozen or eight or 10 spoms on the new 25 wrap area. And within half hour, I had a bite. Uh, the hook link broke. It obviously, the, this lake is festooned with zebras uh, and pea mussels. So I'm assuming it laid across one of them. Two hours later, I'd redone the rod. Two hours later, uh, for four o'clock-ish or whatever, boom, that rod's off again. No, it wasn't actually, that was this morning. Six o'clock that rod went, a low 20. So that was the first night out of the way. Two bites, that ain't too bad this time of year in January. Spent the morning whizzing around the lake and talking to me pals. Got back here at lunchtime, in me swim that is, uh, for the second night and put out the rest of a whole bucket of hemp, corn and 12 mil monster tiger nuts. Same hook baits again, a 12 mil monster tiger nut and a white hit and run. This time I bought the, the third rod, a little bit closer, but I only put six bombs on that. So it was about three, four rod lengths to the right if it was the same range. Spent the evening with my mates drinking all my tea and coffee and eating everything I own like locusts. Again, one in the morning, wallop, double take. Great if you're on linear, not good if you're on raised because these are just some big ones here. And I'm obviously hoping for the one I did get in the end. Uh, I had a 25 common that managed to wrap itself up both around the other rods and one of the other rods was still going off. So it was a nightmare. Started playing a fish on the other rod after I put the common back and it was you know, a minute into it. I was, it was, I was amazed it was still on because the other braid was wrapped around it and it was all over. The, all three rods were tied up together and that fell off. So it took me then probably an hour, hour and a half. All three rods were obviously in, cutting loads of braid off, new leaders, re-wrap, reapply. Uh, didn't put any more spoms out because there was obviously fish there and it was constantly getting beep, beep, I haven't been back to bed. Beep, 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 beep. Four o'clock, the right end of the two went, a uh, 27 mirror. Now you're not allowed to retain them and I thought, you know what, I'm absolutely worn out. I weighed it up, slid it back, rewrapped the rod, fresh rig again every time and um, reapplied the rod. And uh, just before 7.30, the same one, the right end one of the the two went off. This was different. The other ones had torn about all over the place. This was a different fish entirely. It was on the top, it was sort of half light, it was on the top, right out there in the middle, and it waddled its way in. Now I had 
A fish do this to me at the other end earlier in the year, last year, and it turned out to be a 45 pound common. So I thought it's going to be that one again, that it's fighting exactly the same. Luckily for me, it wasn't. It's sort of kited round to the left, missing the other lines this time. Thank you, Lord. Um, popped it in the net. Mike's pet, 54 pound. So my 2022 wish has been granted by Mr. Fishing God. Uh, chuffed to bits. If there was one fish, I've had some nice ones out of here and I've had some 40 pounders out of here. But there was one fish purely for the weight, it's got to say, but having caught it now, it's a right old character. I'm chuffed to bits this morning. Thank you, W1 Northlake.